I think for sure we can say that that everything is um you mentioned the present moment everything is a continuation in the present moment so there is a kind of chain effect of this cause and effect relationship but what i also must say is the the very fundamental level of our being uh it is not subject by to cause or effect ultimately it is not caused and also it cannot be affected but on the seeming surface level which includes the body the mind and the circumstantial world then it appears to be that way so it appears like this event happens and then that leads to this and then that leads to that and then that leads to the awake an awakening or realize it self-realization and on the surface level that appears to be true but on a deeper level actually what i came to see is that 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 what is actually here the essence of what is here has always been here and will always be here it's not something that was cultivated if anything it was more like things were being stripped away a realization helped to then it helped something to fall away something that appeared to be in the way you know and i think this is part of this is the importance of also being aware of the things going on in the world in terms of the geopolitical scene you could say it's part of shedding the old conditioning that is is veiling you could say the truth it's veiling the truth so when we see through you know what we may call the the kind of matrix the world matrix uh, system which i often also refer to as the mind matrix the mind matrix to me is really the 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 root of it right because the the mind matrix comes first and then that is projected and then that becomes what creates what we call the so-called um outer world or the outer matrix so from one end or the other whether you're looking at what seems to be going on outside in society and things like that or whether it's looking at the mind matrix and peeling away the layers of false beliefs false identities either side can contribute to this kind of you know dropping of the illusion so that the the truth can be revealed you know yeah. so so on on one level i can say yes it seems like certain things seem to lead to that but that's only on the surface deeper than that actually it has always been here and that's important to to recognize because otherwise someone may think I've got to go through all of these different things to get to what I am. Whereas actually it is already here right now if we can come to to see it. If we know how to look at it. I I say this is uh shifting in, into what I call direct perception. Past perception, you mentioned the past the past perception is all secondhand. It's everything that we've been given. This is the mind matrix that we've been given that's been passed on from generation to generation to generation. And most beings and most of us operate through this past perception. And to some degree, we have to operate in terms of our language's past perception. You know, so there is a, a degree that we have to use of that. But for many of us our whole identity is actually this past perception and it's all of the the ideas and the thoughts and the experiences of humankind that has been passed on but we can't then actually see the reality of what is here the truth of what is here through past perception we can only see through direct perception through the, our own authority of looking so we have to drop actually the past perception there has to be a cessation of the past perception in order to look from that direct perception and um this is really the directness of 
the spiritual path of um, self-realization, we could say.